Today I want to go over the Boston Celtics versus the Los Angeles Clippers. These are two high level teams right here. Always been a big fan of the Celtics. I actually tried to get a job there uh, before I got the job with the 76ers. Uh, greater organization. LA Clippers are coming together really well. So let's take a look at this game. You know, Celtics are always on the precipice. Getting over that hump to the championship. Winning a championship. I think it's about time that Boston gets them a championship, right? Since what? 07, 08? Let's see. Let's get to the starting line. Lineups. Terrence Mann, Amir Coffey, Zubak, James Harden, and Paul George, PG-13. That's my boy. All right, let's go. It was so good to see Al Horford still playing, though, man. This man been playing since 07. I wonder who is the oldest player in the NBA right now or the longest tenured player in the NBA. Side pick, Jalen Brown coming off. Nice little... Ooh. First play of the game, easy. Let's see where that big man is on the ball screen. Let's see where that big man is on the ball screen. Zubat, so far back, he may have to come up a little bit, sitting too far back in the lane, but that's just me. Right in the face. I see you, PG. Not that much offense right there, but when you got a star player that can swing left, one dribble, hezzy, set up, pull up, jumper in the face. I see you. Trade three for three. I see you, brother. Ooh. I think Zubat got to get the ball right there. You, you get that offensive rebound, Zubat throw it out. And you have a small on you like this. You throw, throw it into the big man. Look at it. He's fighting. He's fighting. Oh, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. Ooh, good pass. Al Horford for the three from the corner. Uh, I remember playing against Al in the Elite Eight. I forgot where it was. We lost to the University of Florida. Him and Joakim Noah. So it's good to see him still playing at a high level. He's older than the head coach, Joe Mazzula. All right. Ooh, going that way. Drew Holiday. You know, I was actually hoping the Pacers were going to draft Drew Holiday, to be honest with you, out of UCLA. Uh, I believe we got Tyler Hansborough with that draft. Uh, but he was high up. He was like, what, a 10 or 11 or something pick. But I was always wanted Drew Holiday. What the Celtics got on this possession? Pocket pass. Extra pass. A little off. Shoot it anyway. Uh, I like it. Pocket pass, pocket pass. Floater. Ooh. I think the pocket pass and the floater was there. Derek White does a good job of setting the screen up, taking his time. Good screen by an 88. That pocket pass is there, but oh, that gets Zubat leading a little bit, backing up a little bit so he can shoot the floater. I like it. For y'all players out there, look at Russ's contest right here. Look, he's hounding, looking for a pass. Paul gets him to the, to, to the ball. There's no need to switch. He comes out. Look at this contest. In the, like, hand in the face. Love that from Russ. Good defense. Attention to detail. Oh, okay, Jason Tatum. Offensive rebounds, always a perfect time to look for threes on a pop out, but even off the dribble. Look at this. Collect this. Ooh, that looks so easy. Good shot, Jason Tatum. Look at this wall they're building around the around the ball handler. Look at this. Everybody's in their spots, playing well defensively. Let's see that back tip. Look at this. He's in his stance. He's in his stance. We got the bottom side. We got the eye right here for the rotation. He's bottom side man. Big man's low. Ooh, rear view contest. That was something that actually we used to practice a lot when playing in Indiana with the Pacers. PG used to be really good at those rear view contests. Ooh. Always like to see where the where the big man is on the ball screen. Look at this. You got PG, the ball so high. I understand when the ball screen is high like this, I used to tell a lot of my guys, all right, you know, unless it's like Steph Curry who's gonna shoot from the logo, like it's good to communicate early. And I would just say, hey, Drew, go under. The screen is high. Go under. The screen is high. Because he can just go under. And then if there's a rescreen, then he can like fight over as he gets closer to the three-point line. You go over so high up and you're so far back, you're just welcoming this pop-up uh, jump shot right here. I like how Drew, you know, goes to box out uh, the big man's man. So kudos to them. Matchup zone. 
Ooh. Ooh, Jason Tatum open on the baseline. Swing it to the to the corner. Size him up. One dribble. Spin baseline. Diaz is late. Oh, uh, what the jam. There we go, Zubat. Things are getting tough. Things are getting tough for you guys to score. Offensive rebounding is key. Throw it into the big man, keep it high. Ooh, nice finish, Zubat. I got a chance to work with him for like one workout. One workout during the summer, I got to train him. Very, 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 very good skilled player. First of all, you don't foul three-point shooters, but the way how Jason Tatum just like sidesteps so easy, like right in your face is just boom, one, two, get into his package. He's trying to get that set up, the side, side dribble, uh, foul, oh, on his left ankle, watch out. I don't think he meant to like step on his foot, man. I don't need to review that one right there, man. I think it might be a little excessive in my opinion. Oh, they call it technical? Hey, Jalen, Jalen, that's a little, I don't like this little push on my, my man PG right here. I don't like this little push. I, I don't like this. You see this right here? I don't like this. You don't got to do that to create that space. I don't like that. I like the bucket, but I don't like that other stuff. Pete posting up on Tatum. Okay. Jab, jab. Get something going to the basket, Pete. Get something going to the basket. Ooh, nice, tough finish. Don't settle for a jump shot. Size them up, size them up. That left fits that pivot. Drive baseline, get cut off, spin. Nice gather step. And then uh, up over the left shoulder, hook it. Ooh, Celtics are making it tough for the Clippers to get anything. Look at this, they built the defensive wall. Look at this, they're corralling, they're getting back to theirs. Jalen Brown gets back, he is in his position. Look, three players right there. But we just got a defensive rebound right here. Jason Tatum got to get in the mix and help out a little bit on the defensive end. His load that he carries on the offensive end is a lot, but he doesn't need to use so much legs and gas defending on the perimeter, but definitely help out on the, on the defensive rebounding. I don't know. Hey, Zubat, Zubat is cleaning up everything at the rim. You know, he's the only reason why they're really like scoring right now. I just want to say it's halftime. I just want to say thanks for tuning in, but I need y'all to subscribe. I see a lot of you guys are, are watching the videos, which I love, but we need to be able to subscribe so YouTube knows that you like my content so I can keep putting it out and they can keep pushing it to you guys and everything. So please like and subscribe for show, for show, for show. It helps out. Now, one of the things I see with the Clippers is that they, they, they definitely want to play defensively, but they use their hands a lot. You get your hands in the cookie jar. Look at this. Look, two hands is already. He's making a drive. He already has two hands on him already. Once players know that, they're going to go for the looking for the foul. So, like, the first sense of, like, a defensive effort, and you have to, like, get low, rely on your teammates to be like, I'm in my gap, and move your feet. You can't, the first thing can't be hands on body. Hands on body means, you know, you're risking the referee to blow the whistle. But they want to play defense, but let's just see about the hands. Too many hands. I was about to say, is that a bad shot? But he's feeling it coming down. Let's assess the situation. All right, we're jogging back. P's trying to get Zubak out the way. He just pulls up. He pulls up with like all the Clippers like in their positions. If that was a miss, it would have been like another, it would be like on the way down. No offensive rebound uh, situation going on there. But man, Celtics are feeling it right now. How far y'all think the Celtics gonna go this year? All right, so let's see the Eastern Conference standing. Boston's in 21 and six. Orlando, 16 and 11. Cleveland, Indy. Oh, come on, Indy, we gotta get, we gotta get these numbers up. Y'all too good of a team. Oh, nice. Again, like, James is looking for his teammates. Zubat is making himself available for, for dunks, offensive rebounding. When things aren't going well, he's playing hard, so. 
Oh, good hands. Look at this. He's sniffing this out. Look at this. All right, Zubat sets the screen. Derek White stays. No switch. Jason Tatum goes looking for the for sniffing it out. He knows the X out. Boom. I love that attention to detail. Playing both ends of the court. Let's see if we're going to get a bucket right here. He likes this position. Mm. Uh, pass. Hook it. Uh, the Celtics are just playing at a, a different level in terms of like knowing their personnel, where they're going to be. Seems like the Celtics are, have taken it out of the Clippers. This is like a lid on the rim. I guess the fight is just not there tonight. Hey man, I appreciate y'all checking out the, the video today. All in all, the Celtics came to play. They, they did a really, really, really good job of uh, shooting that three ball. Let's see how many three point shots made. They made uh, 25. How many did the, the, the Clippers make? 11 made threes off of 25 for 53 from the three, 47 percent. 11 for 34 for the Clippers. PG had 21. Zubov had 14. Russell had 12. So it was an off night for the for the Clippers for sure. Jalen Brown had 24. Jason Tatum had 30. Drew Holiday had 20. A nice solid 20 right there. And the Celtics are primed to make a, a, another deep run. Hopefully they can get over the hump. I'd like to see them in the finals for sure. One player I'm really interested to see is Jordan Walsh from the Celtics get some, get some major NBA minutes. I think he's been doing some good stuff with the main lobsters or I'm not sure what their, their G League team is but I appreciate y'all watching the video. Please like and subscribe. I got videos on both sides right here for you guys to check out please come back for more tell a friend hard fouls no layups baby that's in that's in the paint baby hard fouls no layups i'll see y'all on the next one all right